Welcome to the round 12 AIA Vitality Injury Update. We start with Steele Sidebottom, who unfortunately in his 300th game, injured his right knee early in the first quarter. Scans have shown he has injured his medial collateral ligament. We will have more information based on how his knee responds to treatment over the next seven to 10 days. Reef McGuinness hyperextended his left knee in the VFL game in the first quarter on Sunday. He didn't take any further part in the game. Fortunately for Reef, MRI scan has shown that there is no ligamentous damage and his knee is stable. We'll assess Reef during the week and expect him to get up for this weekend. Billy Frampton goes from strength to strength with his low grade adductor injury. Provided Billy can get through main training this Wednesday, we expect him to be available for this weekend. Pat Lipinski continues to tick the boxes with his shoulder rehab. This week he'll, he'll join in with full contact training with the main group. As Paddy requires model pool exposures to this, provided all goes to plan, we expect him to put his hand up for selection for the King's birthday weekend. Dan McStay is also progressing along nicely with his finger injury. He will start ball handling this week and also join the group with some modified training drills. If all goes to plan for Dan, he'll also put his hand up to be available for selection for the King's birthday weekend. Excitingly for Dan, as it has been an upper body injury, he has spent the last four week block completing a power of football specific conditioning work and working on his strength and power in the gym. Joe Richards with his hamstring has increased the intensity of his training over the past week. He has joined into some modified drills and increases his speed work. How he tolerates his speed work over the next week will determine whether he's available before the King's birthday game or after our bye. Jeremy Howe has made significant progress as he continues to build his workloads. He is now involved in more football specific drills with the main group and continues to build his football specific training. At this stage, we expect Jeremy to be available sometime shortly after the bye. Charlie Dean continues to build his strength work as we look to build him up to a point where he runs next week. That's all for this week's injury update, thanks to AIA Vitality.